Welcome back to the channel, man. Crypto Tro. I am Crypto Tro, bringing you the latest and the greatest in cryptocurrency for beginners. And today, man, we're going to talk about METF. A lot of people have been asking me about it. It is the first DEX traded fund, man. So as the first ever decentralized exchange traded fund, METF seeks to become the most holistic MM ecosystem fund that tracks the health of the ecosystem. So pretty much if you believe or if you are bullish in MMF, this is the cryptocurrency for you. So we're going to talk about that and just get into that. But before we do, man, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I got a lot of videos just talking about a lot of different things in the crypto space, especially MML. So you want to check out my MML playlist, click up there, check out the MML playlist and get tapped in, man, because it's a lot of money to be made in the crypto space. And also, I got to let you know this. This is not financial advice of any sort of way. This is just me explaining different projects and also going over things that I personally invest in and just showing you different tips and tricks that I do for myself. Always, always, always before you invest, consult with a financial advisor and make sure you know what you're investing in and make sure you have conviction in whatever that is, man. So enough of the spiel. Let's get into it. M-E-T-F. Let's go, man. So Currently, we're on a dashboard of MT, METF, but really, I want to go over to Dex Screener, man. So Dex Screen is pretty much shows us what's everything looking like as of right now, man. So we see prices at $111 for MML, down about 17% on the day, man. So I always say I like to zoom out on the chart and just see where did we start. So we see... METF not too far from the all-time highs up there. You see up there, it was like at around like 150, 149. So it's not too far from that all-time high. But we did see a crazy little dip right there. So if you was expecting a dip, then that could have been, you know, a good little entry point. But like I always say, with these lunch pad cryptos, you got to understand it's going to be a slight dip after some people sell some of the profits. Like people got in early, so you got to expect some type of sell-off. If you don't, it wouldn't even be right because, I mean, you know people naturally, people are going to take their profits. But if it's a long-term project and you're looking at it for the long term, then the dips are really the perfect time to get in and get a better position, man. So that's just looking at the chart. Like I said, I'm not a technical analysis I just like to look at the chart and see where we are at on the day. And we see today is a red candle right now. So that's cool. Like I said, the launch pad just dropped not too long ago. So you should expect some type of sell off right after the launch pad. So now I want to just get into a little bit of the white paper. I'm not going to read the entire white paper, man, because that's just crazy. It's a long white paper. But if you want to read it, you just go to the METF dot finance website you can actually look at the docs there but i just want to give a general synopsis of what mad meerkat etf is man so mm etf is the first decentralized etf protocol that runs on metf token the dtf term is thus coined by our team as the dex traded fund being the first of its kind each metf token is backed by a basket of assets Examples MMF, METF, and the MMF liquidity pools, and et cetera, et cetera. So in the METF assets under management, giving it an intrinsic value that cannot fall below. All these assets come from the MM Finance DEX and hence form part of the DEX traded fund. The DEX traded fund seeks to track high performing assets in the ML Finance Dex with strong value accrual strategies that will be outlined in this set of docs. So METF is the ecosystem token. MM ETF is the Mad Meerkat ETF or the platform. So now you're asking, what is the point of METF? Well, our goal is to build a policy controlled, decentralized ETF system native on the Kronos network. In the long term, we believe this system can be used to optimize for stability 
and consistency so that DTF can function as a global unit of account and medium of exchange currency, which represents a basket of goods slash investments. In the short term, we intend to optimize the system for growth and wealth creation. So let me just sum that up for you. If you believe, like I said, if you were bullish on the MM Finance ecosystem, well, that is what they are doing. They are buying tokens. So they buy MML, they buy liquidity pool tokens, and it's pretty much backed by METL. So I like to look at it as something like an ETL on a stock exchange. So ETFs on stock exchange cover different markets. You might have the tech ETF, you know, uh, go just different type of sectors in the stock market. Well, they are bringing this to the crypto space. So what is an ETF in a traditional world? Well, it's a type of pool investment that operates much like a mutual fund. Typically, ETFs track a particular index, sector, commodity, or other asset. But unlike mutual funds, ETFs can be purchased or sold on the stock exchange the same way that a regular stock can. So simply, the assets under management contains a basket of goods, and every METL token you hold represents a share of that asset under management. Well, how do you participate in METL? There are two main strategies for market participants and that's staking and minting. Stakers stake their METL tokens in return for more METL tokens, while mentors provide liquidity pool tokens or MML tokens in exchange for discounted METL tokens after a fixed vesting period. So we already know who created METL, the best team in the Chronos ecosystem and that's mm finance man just the whole mad meerkat burrow is just going crazy if i must say myself so what's the benefits from mm etf well the main benefit for stakers comes from price appreciation and supply growth the protocol sells metl bonds which means new tokens when there is a healthy premium the premium that the protocol earns will be distributed to the stakers the main benefit for bonders comes from price consistency. So bonders can commit a capital upfront and I promise a fixed return at a set point in time. So I know you're asking, so what or how does this make it different from DAOs? Because we see in the Olympus, we see all of these DAOs is just going crazy and the price just dropped like crazy, man. So what's the difference? Well, the biggest difference is we do not rebase. Instead, we utilize the bonding system to accumulate valuable MM ecosystem assets that contribute to our rising floor price strategy. And I got to say this too, man. One thing that makes me bullish on this is just because they pretty much have control of the assets that are under management. So we know a lot of ETL funds, like they buy, they just pretty much are finding good assets to buy into, but they don't necessarily control the supply of the asset. They don't necessarily control like what the founder of that asset or that specific company wants to do. Well, everything is all under one roof. So it makes it easier for them to buy good assets because they are buying their own assets. And that could be a good thing and a bad thing, just depending on what you or how you look at it. But me personally, the MM and the Mad Meerkat team has been very generous to the investors and really believes in the community and really, I feel, cares about the community, man. So I believe they're going to do what's in best interest for the investors and to create more value for the Mad Meerkat ecosystem. So I feel like that control just gives them more ways to create value for the people who are investing in it. So three main ways to earn from METL. So you got bonding, staking, and price appreciation. I'm not going to go through all of that because it's like just crazy. But one thing I do want to look at is the actual platform, man. So when you go to the platform, you can actually stake your METF for a daily APR of 1.6%. And now you can earn that 1.6% easily just by doing that, man. You can buy METF from the Mad Meerkat Finance Dex. So that's one way. Then another way you can create bonds. So Right now, man, we see 
we got the Savannah and MMF LP. We got the METF and the MMF LP. Then we got MML. So we see currently it's about $8.1 million worth of assets under management. And it, it gives you the bond price. It gives you the market price, the rate of return, and what has been purchased already. So, of course, the bond price is going to be higher than the market price because they want you to stay in it longer and it rewards long term holders and it penalizes people who just take their money out real fast, man. So those are eyes are pretty good. You know, if you wanted to just get into it, you do have a max amount that you can buy. So right now, the max METF right now is about 54. I don't have any LPs in my pool. Um or LP tokens in my wallet as of right now. But I might look for that in the future on a dip. And like I said, it's the same thing with the METF, MMF, LP as well, and the same thing with MMF. So you can earn, you know, that 3.3% on MMF. And that's cool, you know, starting out, man. So like I said, this pretty much tracks the entire MMF ecosystem and right now they are buying liquidity pools for savannah mmf and met f mmf so those are the two current ones but we know mmf is going to drop some more projects they just been going crazy with the projects they have been dropping so i'm staying tuned and looking forward to that but just helping you understand bonding more bonding is the secondary value accrual strategy of metf when users mint METL tokens, they are actually selling their assets in order to buy a bond from the protocol. Minting actions are a cross between a fixed income product, a futures contract, and an option. So bonding is an active short-term strategy. So that's pretty much like for those people who want to get short-term, you can get in a bond and it becomes redeem redeemable as it invests in a five-day turn after two days into the 40 into the term, 40% of the rewards can be claimed. So bonding is more so for the short term and staking is more so for the long term. So you can go about it how you want to go about it. If you want to bond some or mint some ETF tokens, you could for their short term way, or you want to be long term, just buy METF off the market and just stake it for that 1% a day. Hey, that's a lot too, because let's think about it 1% a day. Even if price goes down, you still will be in profit and price is so up right now it's at 112 so one percent on 112 hey you can't really complain about that especially in a year's return especially if you continuously invest in it so like i said this is just me going over the metl platform and showing you where you can find the white paper but i didn't go thoroughly through it because that video would be too long so if you wanted to read the white paper you can go and check it out yourself me personally, do I believe in this project? Yes, because of the team. Do I own this project? No, my exposure is more so on MMF. I believe this is a good way to track it. But with them doing this, this just creates more value for MMF because they are actually taking the MMF off the market. So me personally, my personal strategy is just rack up as many MMF tokens as possible because they continue to create value for them with every project that they drop. So that's what I'm doing, just buying MMF. If price drops for METF, I might get in it. It just depends. But right now, it's so many ways to make money on MMF and use it to build your uh, MMF pot up. And they taking so much MMF out the market. And with all these burns and everything that's going on, I just want to stay MMF, man. So, yes, I'm bullish on this project. No, I don't own it. But, hey, do what you do. Always do your own research when you're finna invest in a project. So, that's my video for today, Crypto Tro. I am Crypto Tro. If I added value to you today, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. I'm out of here.